right. Hello and welcome back to the Anime Happy Hour podcast. I'm Jonathan and tonight I'm joined here by my two co-hosts, Richie. Oh, sweet. I get bumped up for the, the second episode of the back to back. I I figured that was coming. I was thinking I was thinking maybe we should we should bump him up this episode. I you know, redeemed, redeemed myself myself a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for you, this you one did week. Well. You did well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And last but certainly not least, we got Jake. Definitely feels least. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Fine by it. Go ahead, uh, anyone listening to this, hit us up uh, in the comments or anything about how much of a bitch John is. Uh, I'd love to we read would all love of them. Yeah. yeah. Or lack thereof. You know, anybody who really knows me. Knows, knows. that you're a bitch. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'll remember that, Jake. You know? <laughs> I remember whatever you want, guy. Doesn't it's change the roast in the hell out of the live action One Piece coming up. You can roast it. It's not going to change the fact that, uh, well, I was going to say that it's going to be good, but we don't, we honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't even validate it. <laughs> that being said, we'll slide right in. In case this is your first time joining us with the Anime Happy Hour podcast, every week we get together, pour ourselves drinks, discuss the world of anime and what's going on in it. We're also sharing our thoughts and opinions on various topics from episode to episode. Before we get started, a few disclaimers. We're an anime podcast, but we're also an adult podcast. So there's going to be swearing. If you don't like it, sucks to suck. We also discuss recent events uh, and episodes, both new and old shows. So here's your spoiler warning. Lastly, these are our own opinions. Uh, leave your opinions in the comments. It's where they belong. Uh, if you're upset, sucks to suck. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback regarding anything we got going on in the show. Uh, any thoughts or opinions? If you want to draft idea, show recommendations, you know, let us know. We'll uh, check it out. Maybe put it in an episode, call you out, whatever. Uh, you can look us up, Anime Happy Hour Podcast on Facebook. You can uh, also just search at Anime Happy Hour Pod 03 in the search bar on Facebook. You can email us at Anime Happy Hour 951 at gmail.com. Or you can check out our Anchor page that has links to all of our social media and YouTube. Anchor.fm slash happy anime hour 03. That being said, slide right into our show. Uh, what are we drinking? You know, we're on episode two. We're double recording tonight. So I know I've been sliding into a few at this point. So uh, yeah, I'm staying safe. Uh, Miller High Life. I gotta go pick up my car after this, so I'm trying to stay sober. Fair enough. Probably a good idea because I gotta drive. So yeah. yeah, well, you live in Boston, you'll still be more sober than half the drivers there. Big, hey, and yeah, it's Saint 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 weekend. Weekend. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I I couldn't get into my neighborhood because I live in Southie, and uh, I had to park in a garage a mile and a half away. So definitely don't want to pay the overnight fees tonight. Oh, yeah. all that Boston man, yeah, so much fun. The things we do, Jake. What do you got? Uh, I'm drinking a Dos Equis. Nice, yeah. Uh, uh, allowing myself a beer for the podcast. Uh, no. those of you who've been following us know I've been I've cut back on my drinking significantly, so I think from now on, uh, I'm just gonna you know, a beer an episode. Reasonable, reasonable, yeah. something. Yeah. Um, I've already currently gone through my bush light, uh, my two vodka drinks, and okay. now I'm on to my blueberry moonshine. So <laughs> that'll be fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how the rest of the episode goes. Yeah, someone but, may uh, have to introduce the show. That's uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all no, right. I know, you know. I know. I'm not slurring too much yet. Yeah, John, but we all know it hits like a truck out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I have YouTube boys here, you know? Exactly. Well, you have us here because we're the entertaining part of the podcast, but I guess well, it also. Someone's got to pick up the resident alcoholic and, you know, keep them chugging. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that being said, uh, we're kind of going to glide right over our weekly episode updates. If you want to know what we went and watched over last week, tune in to uh, episode 22. It's going to be posted up right with the same episode. 
we're kind of doing them back to back. So we didn't really want to repeat everything we've been watching. Um, other than the fact that we've been watching the one show that we got to watch for this coming episode. So we'll cover that in our uh, top tier steer clear topic. So uh, that being said, going to hand it right over to Richie for our new section for the week. Sweet. Awesome. Let's get right into it. Um, My Hero Season 6 gets a new key visual showing Endeavor at the front and center and a confirmation that will be released this fall. It's fall of 2022. I'm very excited. I absolutely love My Hero, so I cannot wait for more. Good. The fall season is going to be popping with a lot of shows because didn't um, me and Richie were talking about this. We didn't know Chainsaw Man. Is this summer or fall? I don't keeps, know when it is, dude, but whenever it comes <laughs> out, it's going to be fire. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it comes out in the fall. Like They are stacking the fall with shows. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. If you're trying to release your show and for it to be popular, you don't want it to be in the fall now. Yeah, I mean, I somewhat yeah. understand that. Um, we'll see. I mean, I, I think that... I mean, we kind of prefaced this a little bit in the last episode. I think the Demon Slayer movie probably going to be uh, fall season. Towards another the end. Demon Slayer movie? No, no, no. Isn't that the one that's – isn't it coming before the end of the year? And then the, I thought it was 23. I thought the new season comes out in the 2020. I didn't know there was going to be a new movie. Either no, way. there is a movie coming out. There's a or movie Demon coming Slayer. out and then the new season. Or the Demon Slayer movie is the next arc. Oh, I, why am I being stupid? Black Clover. What the hell? About to I say, still, yeah. I'd say the movie is supposed to be. The moonshine oh. hit fast. Yeah, it really yeah. did. I don't know why I kept saying Demon Slayer. Black Clover movie. Yeah. I thought that was 2023. Is that 2023? I yeah. thought it was the I thought they said the season was 2023. Uh, oh, Jesus. I don't think I honestly don't know if there's another season, Sean. I'm not gonna lie to you. I there better be a new season. Not all they're gonna wait coming out at some point in the future. Yeah, that's all you need to know. All I'm uh, saying, tw- the fall season 2023, gonna be, by the way, is gonna all right. Word is gonna be popping solely based on Bleach. Just putting that out there. You know, I'm hyped for my hero. So I'm curious. Nah. So all jokes aside, I know Jake's gonna go on a tangent here about Bleach being a terrible fucking show. No, uh, it's um, mid. Um, I'm curious how long they extend it. So, I mean, it's getting released in the fall, but there's no shot that they cover the whole last arc in 12 episodes. Well, no, there's absolutely no chance. It's uh, Bleach has, I mean, it's no, they're not one piece arcs or Naruto arcs, but they're long arcs. And, uh, is this is like more than double the longest arc previous to it, right? Yeah, it's one of the longest arcs. I, I think I read somewhere that this last arc in Bleach is like forty percent of the source material. Oh, damn. So yeah, because it covers a lot of shit that happened for a while. Yeah. So I don't know if they're going to release it like they do, like maybe the My Hero stuff, or if they're going to continue. So, like, my big thing is like, are they going to do like a twelve episode stint, then a break, and then a twelve episode stint? Or maybe 24 sure episodes. Not. Or are they just going to run with the whole continuous I mean, arc? It's fucking Bleach, dude. They got to do it like Naruto and Black Clover. and Yeah, yeah run piece. the whole arc just continuously. Yeah. Week to week. That's, yeah. Just start it and run it till it's done. That's what I'm hoping for because if they stop it, I'm going to be pissed. Have a it takes another time. 10 years for the <laughs> full arc to come out. <laughs> That would be brutal. They do like a quarter of the arc and then 10 years. <laughs> I'm going to be 65 <laughs> by the time the final. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll probably be before One Piece ends. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm just going to die before that shit happens. Well, let's not put that into the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, let's get that one right out. I mean, uh, so we're going to have a somewhat short episode here, but we uh, kind of preface a little bit, a little bit, uh, about the One Piece movie is coming out. We got uh, the live action that got confirmed. We keep getting more confirmations on characters as far as uh, who's going to be in it for live action, as well as the Shanks movie coming out, um, which we're, we're all excited about. Yeah. I also saw this crazy theory 
on uh, online about Shanks, like, quote unquote, breeding Luffy to be breeding him. <laughs> you sure that's you mean raising him? No, no, no. That's where I'm going with this. Breeding. Breeding? Like, to an extent, like, you know, raising is, I don't, I don't want to use the word raising because, like, and breeding's a bad word for it, too. But at the same time, it's, like, making certain events happen in a line so that he shows up and does certain things. Like, Shanks knows what's going to happen. Shanks is so deliberately. Shanks is the puppet master. Yes, to Luffy. Um, From the start. In a malevolent way or in a good way? Well, it depends on Shanks' ideas as far as what he wants for the future as far as the world is concerned. So here's the deal. Shanks has been shown... It doesn't mean much, but he has been shown to be a good character. He is, now that Whitebeard is dead, the only person alive, except for maybe Buggy, who knows where, and Ray, you know what I mean? The only yeah. current pirate, except for maybe Buggy, who knows where. One, the One Piece is. Raft, yeah. Yeah, well, Raft, yeah. Yeah. So there are theories that shanks uh gave luffy his hat and set him on the path to be the pirate king because he saw that he was a worthy person uh and his because we're not sure about his territory yet he protects the area around the one piece from people like blackbeard getting it waiting for luffy to get there so that is one theory but we also saw richie cover your ears oh boy let me just i'm gonna take my headphones out and just like nod your guys head all right uh we also saw um right before wano um i forget what the arc was called it's between whole cake and wano uh with all that business um in the capital, yeah, where yeah, where the world gov- all the world governments kind of yeah, came yeah, together. Yeah. So we see Shanks there talking to the leaders of the world government as if they've known each other for a long time, and he is an int- integral part in their organization. So that could mean that, like you're saying, he's leading. Uh, luffy this direction for a bigger plan that would benefit him um i don't know like a big aspect that's always been brought up is the first episode is is him losing his arm to save luffy and the fact that without that scene happening luffy would have the maybe looked at certain things in a different light. And the fact that there's no reason why Shanks need to lose his arm in that scene. Yeah. I mean, Shanks is, I mean, Shanks, he is one of the most powerful people in the One Piece universe. Yeah. And there's no, I mean, just a casual sea beast is not going to, you know, pose that much of a threat to him to the point where, it doesn't hurt him you know so i see what you're saying personally i think if that's the case if shanks lost his arm on purpose then it was with the for a good reason maybe to show luffy uh what it's what it means to sacrifice yourself for others yeah that type of stuff yeah i mean um i just i haven't seen explicitly anything that would lead me to believe that shanks is not the man that he seems to be and so i'm gonna i'm gonna believe in that but yeah there are... we just also know anime and like yeah, there's exactly. you know you know the fact that like at any point you could be like 
they could throw a whole episode in the background of just like everything that he's been doing up to this point has led him to this point, but it was all for like bad reasons, you know? So that would be heartbreaking. Um, And maybe not, you know, it's, I don't know. It's hard to look at without knowing too much. Well, if, really... if, if that's the case, then that means that Shanks is responsible for Ace's death. Yeah. Knowing that, and there was that scene where Ace went and thanked Shanks for, for taking care of his brother. So, you know, after all that shit and knowing Luffy, if it was the case that Shanks, uh, orchestrated Ace, Ace's death for Luffy's growth or to lead him into hating Blackbeard or the world government or something, then he's a really fucked up character. I don't know. It was just an interesting take that I saw. Like, you know? Yeah, just... well, that's the thing about One Piece that I love so much is you can literally interpret it yeah. so many different ways. There's so many different theories about the One Piece universe. I just, you know, at this point, I can't imagine Shanks being a bad guy. And if he ends up being a bad guy, it will literally destroy me. <laughs> I mean, and not even necessarily a bad guy. I mean, we also preface all the time. Richie, I don't know if you're back or not, but I saw a headphone in. But uh, Bad guy or not, like we talk about it on a constant level of fact that there's so many bad guys in anime that have good arguments to why they're bad guys yeah like you know there's there's reasons behind their devious acts i mean you have the pure evil people but at the same time like there's events that set in motion the way to where they are yeah and you can understand where they're coming from on their you know level i don't necessarily say he's going to be a bad guy but i don't know it's tough to say you can see it going either direction and i can see like the it prefaced a few different events but i can't remember off the top of my head but like i could see the strings being pulled at the same time yeah you know? oh man uh, it'd be it's, it's just interesting you know it may never play out who knows you know um and is the the shanks movie a uh, backstory i'm not entirely sure or is it like i would imagine covering so. him in the events of what's been happening throughout the whole show so far well we're not entirely sure what he's been doing yeah but show, i didn't know if that was what was gonna fill in like i didn't know if has, that was gonna cover some of the time it has been shown that he is very knowledgeable about the the stuff that's happening he Rob, did yeah. go, Richie. You're gonna have to say goodbye to you again. <laughs> I'm gone. All right. He did go to black to Whitebeard before uh, Ace uh, was captured by Blackbeard. Yeah. And tell him not to send Ace after him. Uh, because yeah. that would pretty much spell ruin for the Whitebeard pirates. So, mm-hmm. uh, he he does. To, to a certain extent and with the meeting with the, the leaders of the world government he does to a certain extent have his hand involved in some of the stuff that's happening we just can't Don't know tell. what to extend yeah we can't tell exactly what his goal is yeah like i just didn't know if it was going to cover like maybe shanks back when he was on the black or well Roger's ship? Roger I ship. so. But I don't think so. Or if it was going to cover maybe some of the events that happened throughout the... Because you don't really see what he's doing throughout the whole... I mean, you see him in certain areas, but you don't really see what he's been doing. So maybe it's certain things that he's been doing since throughout the actual story. Like, I don't know if it's going to be canon. The only well, thing... It's going to be canon. It's got to be canon. The only reason I don't think that it's about that is because the world, One Piece world is so connected with the newspaper and everything and everyone finding out about what Luffy's doing and everything that if eight or if uh, 
um, Shanks were to do anything big enough to warrant a movie, we would already know about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. I don't know. I'm interested. I mean, did we get a confirmation date on it yet? Or is it just... I'm just not sure. Know? All right, Richie, you're, you're welcome. Back. I'm back. All right, word. So that covers our... Uh, what we've been watching section. Yeah. yeah. Filling a yeah. Little, little, little bit of fluff. Um, wait, wait, where are you standing? I'm just curious. I forget. Where are you standing on the uh, One Piece? Me? Episodes, yeah. I haven't watched an episode in a while. I'm still in, I'm on 161. Oh, okay. So I'm like, okay. Um, still in Skypea. You got to get man. past Skypea, Richie. Yeah, Look, I'm not, dude. I'm really not I a huge fan of Skypea. <laughs> I worked 24 days in a goddamn row. I did not have any time to watch anything besides the our show for the week and my dress up, darling. Richie, those are, one piece is more important than your job. You're going to have to quit. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could do that, but not. I can't not say anything, right Richie. I stopped at 1001. I haven't watched anything since then. So, Well, I stopped at 1014, but, you know, I've read the manga past that. But anyways, um, uh, the next arcs you're going to get into are the, some of the, my favorite arcs in the yeah, beginning half of the show. TikTok also ruined what's coming up for me. So, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Brutal. But, like, I, I always just kind of stick with the fact that, like, I love to see it animated. Like, yeah. you can spoil it for me, but I just like, I like to see it played out, like, visually. I mean, I know what's going to happen in Bleach, but I want it to see it played out. Richie, we're going to need to say goodbye to you again. For what? I want to know what? what was spoiled for you. Oh, okay. You good? Right? Yeah. Yeah, right, he's off. All right. Like post Wano arc, uh, like the defeat of uh, Kaido and Big Mom. I don't know how far they made it into the manga, but some I saw something about like because they're going after uh, what you call it after this in the the head captain for the navy, the one that killed Akainu. Yeah. Is the manga already past uh, Wano? Wano? I'm pretty sure. I thought I'm like so. I'm like two months behind, so that's got to be what eight, eight or nine chapters, and I didn't think we were that close. I think I thought that they they I don't want to say finished, but like there's been prefaces that he's going towards. Like that's what's going to happen after this. Yeah. So like I just know that. I mean, obviously, it was going to happen that Big Mom and Kaido are going to be defeated. But I don't know. I just saw like a bunch on TikTok about them going after him after this. Interesting. Because isn't wasn't there a bunch of stuff about there being a huge war after this? Well, that was what they were saying. It was like they were – he was like – they kind of take their own creative liberties in this. But like – because it was like – it was, let me put it this way. It was like one of the uh, the Navy calling him, okay, you know, mm. and saying like, yo, Luffy's coming for your ass. And then he was like, I ain't worried about him, like, at all. And he goes, I don't think you realize Luffy's got boys on call. Like, he got an army army yeah, that he don't thousands. even call in. He goes, he just wiped out Kaido with a bunch of fucking misfits and his main crew. He didn't even call in his army for that shit. He goes, he took out Kaido. He took out Big Mom. He took out, you know, is he's coming for like, you guys. He this goes, a dude he like even, saying all this? It, it was just like out? somebody like going on. Yeah, no. So then I like, wouldn't put they preface much. They preface it in the manga, supposedly, like that he's going after him after this. But like he kind of took his own like creative liberties as far as like dramatizing it a bit. Yeah, but still, like he was like talking about like Luffy having his own army that like he never actually uses, you know. Yeah, and like all this other shit, um, and all these people. So, and he's like, well, he was like, he didn't even have beef with Kaido. You killed his whole ass brother, so you know. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do to you? That's definitely some beef. <laughs> he goes, he whooped Kaido's ass, and you know. He didn't even got beef with Kaido. 
Yeah. He killed his brother. Like, <laughs> so I mean, we'll see. We, I'm excited. I kind of wanted to get One Piece to like extend a little farther. Like, I want to be like 50, 60 episodes out, and then I can just binge watch a bunch of it. It kind of got too about much. 50, you are about 50 episodes out, I'm pretty sure. Are they that far? I thought they were only in like 20s, 10, 20, no, or something like that. They're pretty far because 114 is the first time. Well, I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, they're pretty, they're pretty far after that, I'm pretty sure. Let's. Oh, I do not want to sink all. That is a lot of episodes to sink. 10 13. 13 episodes. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was thinking of, uh, I was thinking you were at where the, uh, like 900, where the uh, arc started. No, no, no. I'm, I'm at 1001. So 1016 is supposed to be episode 1016 is supposed to be um, the fight chapter one. No chapter 1000 of the manga. Okay. And that was supposed to happen this week. I'm pretty sure, but because yeah, of the earthquake. Fucking, yeah. No, because of the, the uh, hacking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's upsetting. All right. Well, that being said, Richie's been gone for half the episode, but fuck it. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to be back in part of this episode. Yeah, yeah. I think your your part's coming up here anyway. So yeah, no. It's all we'll you. go on to the news item number two. Uh, Crunchyroll has pulled the low, the newest episode of Orient following a seven point three magnitude earthquake, which is just scary, man. Like that's just that's terrifying. crazy. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know where the studio is based uh, for Orient. I couldn't tell you, but clearly it was uh, big enough to validate taking it, not posting up the new episodes. So. Well, I think especially, I, I was talking to my mom about this last week, I think, or something, but um the thing about earthquakes in Japan, especially, is not the earthquake, but it's the tsunami. The after effect. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think there was a lot of measures put into place after this for a tsunami. Most likely. Orient supposedly picked up a bit, too. I got to catch up on it. But yeah, yeah, I, I only watched, watched it. the first episode, and I just, like, I just had no interest. The first episode kind of blew. <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, I picked up a bit. I got bleach vibes from it, which kind of kept me in it a little bit mm-hmm. towards no, the later. I definitely episodes. don't want to watch. Yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> uh, number three, uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, the artist Sunanori Sakaguchi died at eighty-six over the past week. Um, very sad news. I mean, even though it's over, like eighty-six. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Lived a long and healthy life. The manga literally just ended like a year ago. Yeah, man was working. I mean, oh boy. Him. yeah, yeah. It's been posted all over the place, so you know, R.I.P. Yeah, respect to goat. You know, yeah, for sure. Especially if you're part of the animation crew of this whole show, you know. Well, his his art led to what we now know as Demon Slayer's animation. Yeah, yeah, one of the the most renowned shows. So, yeah, for sure. Big respect. Yeah. You will be missed. Um, next up on the news, uh, eighty six season one. They finally ended. I uh, got an eight point eight on my anime list, and after seven weeks of Attack on Titan taking number one on the weekly charts, eighty six actually managed to get on top with its twenty second episode. Did you guys keep up with this show? I I've didn't. Never seen it. So I watched the first episode. Yeah. And something about the max that just didn't do it for me. Yeah, I no, I get lost that. me at max. But that being said, from every review and every person I've seen like talk mm-hmm. about this, like it's improves so much and like it really grasps you to a point yeah, I've where, heard like really good things. Like I've heard really good things. And 
from people who don't even like not in the Mac community. So yeah. is this the second core? Yeah, it was yeah. the second. Yeah. I remember reading somewhere, obviously it's objective, but I remember reading somewhere about how season two, which I'm assuming they meant the second core is worse than season one by far. Um, which is why I never even gave it the time of day. But apparently that was false information. I mean, yeah. crap, if you're going to put a 8.8 on my anime list and it overtook Attack on Titan out of all shows. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be half like decent enough to watch, you know? Yeah. Some of the, like, the screenshots I've seen, they look like great. It looks like great animation. So, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, it was like just mechs are just it's not tough, my thing. Yeah. It's a tough uh, genre to get into. If it's not Maybe I'll game. watch a few more episodes, see if it picks up a bit, you know? Yeah. Because I felt that way about uh, Case Study of Anatas too. And yeah, that one's yeah. I haven't watched that after one. episode two. Yeah, I never watched after the first episode. So there's a lot of shows like that. The first episode yeah. is not it, and then it really picks up. So or like, the shows where the first episode is it, and then the rest and everything not. after sucks. I'm talking yeah. to you, tacked up. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Like we got we always have back. Kirky out to review yeah. that show. Yeah, it's um, over, so we can, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's eligible. Um, all right. On to the next piece of news: Netflix has released a trailer for one of its new anime shows, Tekken Bloodlines. I want to say. Yep. Um, it's obviously you know Tekken's one of the most well-known fighting games of all time, and it's finally getting an anime ap- adaptation for 2022. I'd assume fall. Would be my guess. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Um, Do you guys play a lot of Tekken? I've played some of the. I've beaten most of the Tekkens. I haven't played on an extensive level because I'm never going to be on a level to where I could play online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but God, no. I've tried fighting games online and it's just not even worth my. No, I'm so bad at them. I don't even bother. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm good enough to get through like the storyline, which is what I care about. You yeah. Know? play through the story and have a good time but like once you press that online button it's just not a not a good time no. yeah there's some people that are just insane i'll just get comboed to the death and i won't even get a hit in so yeah, yeah. oh yeah you know um that being said i have mixed mixed feelings about this um i like the preface i like the i mean i know the tech in lore enough mm-hmm and it would be really good lore wise and storyline wise i'm not a huge fan of the animation style yeah um i'm trying to think of like something i can compare it to um i just i don't know it it's very blocky animation and it doesn't really grasp me as much as i want it to but yeah Maybe well, I right, maybe I'll be proven wrong. So, who knows? I'm excited. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll get my eyes for you. I'll definitely watch at least the, an episode or two, just because I think it'd be, I think it'd be cool. But who knows? Yes. All right, on to the last piece of news for this week: um, Rising of the Shield Hero season two is confirmed for 13 episodes, which is coming out in spring. So about. Two weeks from now, we'll get the first episode, maybe a little bit longer. And also, season three was confirmed, but this was a while ago. This was in one of the panels, I think, in like 2021 for the show at like the Crunchyroll Expo. I'm yeah, cool I, with 13 episodes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that I didn't expect much more than 12 anyways. So I'm just going to cover with it. Pumped for more Shield Hero. Yeah, that's, I will never say no to more Shield Hero. I April 1st, right? It. I thought I couldn't remember if it was the first or the sixth, but I yeah, it's I heard early, a lot of shows early are coming out. Yeah, yeah, so, it's early um, April. It's like two, three weeks at the most. So, mm. I mean, you know, we'll be reviewing that. So, yeah, talking about we'll that, definitely, oh, for sure. Uh, Any other well, news you guys got? Uh, you want to bring up? Not to my knowledge. Tried covering as much as we could over two episodes. You know, what about yeah, I don't spy family. Oh. They did put a trailer up. I was excited yeah. about the trailer. The trailer was pretty good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That one's we're planning so on uh, putting that on our YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Uh, both the Tekken and the Spy Family, we're going to 
try to put up a reaction video to that. So uh, keep an eye out for that. We're trying some new things out. So we're going to do some separate videos, uh, some reaction videos, stray kids. I know uh, yeah. Jake wants some stray kids reaction. So we're going to do some of that. We're looking into the copyright stuff and uh, get our information down before we dive too deep into it. But we're going to do some reaction videos. So uh, keep an eye out for that. We just didn't want too much of a uh, open section in our, our podcast to where we have a video playing and everything else where you can't see it. So we'll do those on a separate. We'll make a nice little playlist for you guys right on our YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that. Excited for it. Yeah, should be coming in the next few days. Well, week or so, maybe. Um, that being said, that's it for the news for tonight. We'll slide right into our main topic that we do every single week. Returning, we have our top tier steer clear. Every week we take a show of our choice. We're rated in three different categories, plot characters and art slash animation. Then we compare them to shows we covered over previous weeks. This week's show of choice was from yours truly. The show is called Amagi Brilliant Park. It originally aired in October of 2014 and had a 12-episode run. Quick synopsis for you guys. Uh Saya, smart, extremely narcissistic high school student, <laughs> believes that the beautiful but reserved Sento has invited him on a date to, at an amusement park called Amigi Brilliant Park, much to his, wow, I don't know why we put that in, uh, chagrin. Chagrin? Chagrin? Chagrin. Chagrin. Jesus, nope, John. Yeah. Chagrin. Do you want me to? Why? why? That's a bad word. <laughs> it's, actually never seen very, it's actually a very good word yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one <laughs> not only is the location a rundown facility the supposed date is merely a recruitment tour for where Sento and the Princess Latifa, the owner of the theme park ask him to become the park's new manager their cause for desperation uh, stipulated in a land use contract <clears throat> Amagi has less than three months to meet a quota of 500,000 guests or the park will be closed for good and the land redeveloped by a greedy real estate company. Saya is won over by the revelation that Amagi is no ordinary amusement park. Many of its employees are maple landers, mysterious magical beings who live in the human world and are nourished by the energy created by people having fun. Entrusted with the hopes and dreams of this far off enchanted land, Seiya must now use his many skills to bring Amagi back to its feet or watch it crumble before his eyes. Whew, we made it. You got there. You know, one hiccup, that's all right. Um, that being said, um, I'm first as far as plot's concerned. Um, I gave it a 7.5. I think it was well done. I It was funny. I mean, I loved the way that it was portrayed. I think it was a different take on a lot of shows. We cover a lot of action shows. We cover a lot of mystery shows. We cover a lot of gory, crazy shows. But very rarely do we have too many lighthearted shows. And this one kind of kept me... In it, and I mean, they have their action moments. Well, I guess you could call them action moments. But uh, one of the main characters, Sento, her like main preface is the fact that she's part of the military in uh, Maple Land, and so she has like these crazy rifle guns that she just carries up her skirt that she pulls out in any situation that she feels she can't handle. <laughs> as far as like just even emotional or conversationally. And it's just funny watching her, you know, sort of shoot people for fun. And um, I just love the way that it was portrayed and the way it was the plot carry through. Uh, I mean, we knew it was going to be a happy ending. It's just kind of how the preface plays out, but uh, seeing it get there was, was an enjoyable time. I, I enjoyed it. Um, Richie, how do you feel? Um, I think I'm going to go same score as you, 7-5. Um, 
I think one thing that actually would be bad is trying to like overanalyze the show. I feel like sometimes you just gotta like access what and they enjoy say. it. Yeah. And enjoy it. Like it's just not like watch it. Yeah. Watch it. It's like nice, easy watch. It was something like I wasn't expect I had no idea going into this what this was gonna be about. Media it was a new show for me too. You know? Yeah. And I had I was I was like my expectations were surpassed. I didn't have any. Because I was like, oh this like sounds like interesting, but it could definitely go I could see how it could go wrong. But like the comedy was good. The story was nice. It was like every like you know mini i mean every episode is like mini storyline that flew, flew, uh, flew that was pretty good and it was self-contained so i enjoyed it i like the little plot twist they had at the end too um, yeah they with, definitely left it open for more but i don't think they needed to like do anything else so like they didn't have to like make a season two or anything like that yeah um jake how'd you feel i give it a seven okay um I didn't know whether I liked the show or not. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the show. But I didn't I didn't know whether I liked it or not until the ending, which I thought the ending was really good. Yeah. Yeah. The actual show itself, plot wise, I didn't think was anything special or even that interesting. But uh I gave it a seven because I really liked the ending. With yeah, uh, there was some plot the whole twists. Final episode. Yeah, the yeah. final episode was excellent. There was definitely some plot twists in the, the end. You know. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I mean, like I said, it was an enjoyable watch. Like it's like I sit back, you can enjoy, laugh yeah. a bit. Like you don't have to think too deeply into the show. Yeah. Um, no. You don't have to like keep track of anything. You just yeah. gotta like know what's you don't. Yeah, you can barely know what's going on and still enjoy it. Yeah um that being said slide right into our characters honestly characters we're in a nine i was a big fan of the characters solely based on like the fact that they all had like at least the main few oh there's a lot of main characters but they all have their own personality to an extent um all like the mascots i mean you had like the one who always resorted to fighting uh Mofo, Mofo, Mofo. Mofo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he was like the old, like he's been there. He's the senior guy who like, he's always down to fight, but he's also like wise in a sense too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the, I can't remember the name, the sheep and the, the cat. Yeah, I'm the, looking the, up their names now. The two other ones. Kira me was the cat. Um, I can't follow me. Find the other but one. But like one of them was a sex addict. Yeah, and the other me. one, yeah, and the other one is an alcoholic. Like, so he wasn't a sex addict. Yeah. He wasn't successful enough to be a sex addict. He was <laughs> Dude, just he, a pervert. Yeah, he was a crazy pervert. pervert who yeah. always, yeah, yeah. I mean, then again, the fucking Triceratops too, who was head of uh, marketing, was also yeah. was a, a he was a pervert. pervert. <laughs> like, um, but I mean, uh, you also gotta appreciate like, Jake. You see the I don't know if you noticed the uh, One Piece reference in there. Did you realize it in the uh, interviews when they did the interviews for cast or for people to work at the, uh, the park? I mean, they had the astronaut, they had the wrestler, but then they had uh, what you call it from it's from the Wano arc, the guy with the long red hair. Oh, um, I don't think that's a one piece reference, but I know what you mean. It looks exactly like literally spitting. That's image. like uh that's like um a costume that they wear for like cultural theater performances yeah well i prefaced one piece of that so you know it was still you know i just like the way that i mean every character had their own like unique personality to an extent and i mean they even with all the uh fairies too they kind of elaborated on that in an episode and they all had their own strengths and weaknesses and they worked as a team and the whole nine uh, there's a few plot points missing that I would have liked expanded on, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm content with the characters, so I liked it. Uh, Richie, I'm gonna give the characters a I think a seven and a half. I think I'm gonna, I enjoyed them. I thought they were very funny, um, and they just fit like they were. There was yeah, they had like unique characteristics and stuff like that. 
but I don't know. I just I didn't think that but like seven point five is not a bad score. No, I just don't. It fit in perfectly with the show. They didn't add anything on it. They didn't. They didn't need to. Like the characters who were who they were who they were the entirety of the show, except for like um, say uh, and I think that was honestly it for like characters that really changed. And maybe like a little bit with Muffle. Sento. Sento changed. Sento a little. A little bit. She. I mean, she like. You know. Like I said, she prefaced the fact that every situation she couldn't handle, she just pulled the gun on somebody. Yeah. And, you know. I would have liked it if she would have confessed her feelings for uh, Kanye at the end. Yeah. It would have been nice. Like, that would have been a nice wrap up to the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jake, how do you feel? Uh, I'm bouncing. Um, I'll give it an. An eight seven point five. Yeah, to be complicated. <laughs> I was I was trying to decide whether to give him a nine or an eight point five. I compromise. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the plot, but the only reason I was able to enjoy the entire series was the characters. Um, not so much Saya. Uh, I mean, he was all right. Um, I'm talking about the Maple Landers. Yeah, like yeah, they the make ones, yeah the ones we just talked about, and then the dragon and yeah, the moles, uh, the moles are yeah, great. the yeah. moles, the what, pirate. What's the seals. one's name? The otaku. Oh, Dornell. 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 <laughs> Dude, okay, Dornell. You know, Dornell was pretty good. You find yourself in that situation. It's like, all right, I'll just stay here. I don't mind. <laughs> and then yeah. they sold all of his shit. Yeah, oh, and he was like, budget. dude, that was that was heartbreaking. <laughs> I felt that. Yeah, I appreciated it. Anyways, uh yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of the plot, except for the ending. But as far as the characters go, they carried the show. Oh, 100 percent And I think that was a big preface on the whole thing in the first place um yeah so i mean i'm gonna quickly talk about this the one thing that kind of annoyed me was you know like the the whole dream that sento had oh about, with like the, the about girls. three girls who yeah. were gonna steal him away from her as far as like if they get hired yeah, yeah. and then they all showed up to the interview but then that was never expanded upon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was just At a all. good coincidence. Yeah. Just had it to was, accept that one. Yeah. That was like the biggest thing because it was a whole episode about it. Yeah. And then nothing ever happened. They became like one became a mechanic <laughs> yeah. working down in the basement. I did like the um the confusion around her being an AV. <laughs> an <laughs> AV. <laughs> that, that, was, that was funny. Adult video actress, or, but it was really video. animal videos. <laughs> no, that was great. I thought it was a perfect reaction too by the guys there. Yeah, it's like yeah. one of one of them is like, "What's her stage name? What's her stage name?" And then Saya is like, doesn't know how to talk to her now. <laughs> yeah, instantly. Yeah. Yeah. He just could, yeah, he could not figure out how to say anything. Our, I mean, I even like the wrestler where they were interviewing the wrestler. He was oh, like, yeah. they're like, well, we already have one guy who wears some baskets on, on our staff. Like, you know what? Call him in. Yeah. You just start wrestling each other in the interview room. No, I was a fan. I mean, that being said, we'll slide. Uh, yeah. We'll slide into our uh, animation and art. We gave it a seven five. I don't think it did anything crazily above average. Um, but it wasn't badly done either. I mean, they had, like, there was some, like, fine details that I kind of enjoyed. I mean, they were done well. Um, but other than that, like, it's just a regular show, an average show. Um, animation. Okay. It's kind of where I That's stood fine. on it. Richie? Um, I'm going to go 7-5. So I went 7-5s across the board. Um, I really did enjoy the facial inspre- expressions. I thought they were amazing. With, like, yeah. Some of the characters. They, yeah. Did it so well, and it was just a perfect like comedic moment. Uh huh. Um, the fights were like, were the fights between Seiya and Muffle were actually like 
I was shocked. I did not expect them to be like that. And it was yeah. it was really funny. It was funny like, like watching them progress too. Let's not yeah. talk about the fights between Seiya and Moffel because they were bullshit. Let's talk about Moffel one shotting that gangster. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Just a duck and pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just took out his jaw, dude. Yeah. That was yeah, good. And like you said about like some of the facial animations, the kids, the three the kids, kids that they practice yeah. all the time, Girl. girls. <laughs> that was and so they were just oh. like little oh, weasels. Ugh. Dude, mm-hmm. it was such a creepy animation the way that they portrayed that too. Like it was. Oh. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen or have you read the the Batman comics? Uh, the Batman who laughs. No. Mm. I so, know what you're talking about. You know his little Robin pets? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's exactly what they look oh like. My, they do look just like the Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but Jake, where'd you stand on it? For animation? Yeah. Seven. 7.1. Nice. That one is for the moment when... Uh, it's, I think it happens twice when Moffle and Seiya, when their powers collide, when they like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Moffle jumps at him and he blocks him, and you get that really cool animation moment. That gives that point one. Yeah, it's funny like watching like as like Seiya starts learning his moves. So like yeah. the first time they fight, like, I can see goes, him now. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like spar back and forth all the time. Mm. Uh, and still, nobody can stand a chance against Sento. Like, yeah, yeah, no, nope. they start fighting, then Sento shows up and just shoots them, shoots everybody. Like, yeah, she did not care. Uh, well, the uh, the pain bringing bullets were only 10 for 30 yen, so of course, she didn't <laughs> care. She could shoot as many she, as she wants. The uh, the memory loss ones, though, that was yeah. a year, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, it took a year, year to make. That being said, seven seven. It's an average show. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not bad. It's not too bad. About right. Yeah. That's yeah, it's right in the middle there. It's an easy watch. Better than Deep, Deep Insanity. Oh, way better than Deep Insanity or Death yeah. or Death March. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Death March was a five, and it's still going way back. better than Deep. Yeah. Insanity. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Deep Insanity is just garbage. Yeah. This is this is a good watch. If you get bored on a weekend or something, it's an easy 12 episode watch. You can grind it out, you know. Um, I'm a fan. I'm happy about it. Yeah, I was glad to like watch it. Like I said, this. I've seen it all over the place. I've never seen it, so it was new to me just as much as it was new to you guys. I mean, I know a lot of the shows we've watched are shows that one of us has watched before such events. So uh kind of getting our own thoughts on everything is kind of it's cool yeah uh, next week's show will also be one that none of us have watched so yeah the next four mine as well so the yep. next two weeks i think yeah and we were actually just talking about before this uh we might be starting a separate list kind of going back and forth a little bit every few weeks for we might be doing movies um i don't want to put them on the same list as our tv shows yeah. so we'll uh we'll start a separate list you know one of these days i think we're gonna do the next two weeks right yeah you know, we'll do the next we got jake and we got richie's show coming up in the next two weeks and when we make it back around to me i'm gonna throw a movie on the list so yeah. we'll watch the movie before uh the episode and then we'll do the same rating scores do the same points and everything else but we'll do it based on a movie and uh we'll start a whole separate list for that so maybe richie can find us a shitty ass movie to watch I don't think I want to. These are actually, I haven't seen a lot of movies. So, so take the trash can for the movie section, too. Uh, Who knows? I might just get it anyways. Yeah, fair enough. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd feel bad giving you a trash can if you like, if we had like sevens and eights and then you just had the lowest seven. But yeah. if you give us a three movie, like you did give no. us a three TV <laughs> yeah. show, you deserve the trash can for it. Yeah, no, I plan on be, when my movie being good. I have a couple of ideas for some movies. That I put oh, 100%. I already know what movie I'm putting on the list. So, yeah. You know, I've already told you what movie I'm putting on the list. So, I'm excited about it. Um, 
that being said, uh, we're also going to kind of skip over our draft this this time. Uh, we just did a draft in our previous episode. Um, that's going to be posted up on all of our socials and our Spotify page. So make sure to check that out. Vote. Um, we're going to skip over it this episode. We'll do a new draft next week. We should be back to a normal schedule as far as next week's concerned. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out that week. Now uh, it's going to be a short episode, obviously. Uh, we'll slide right into our outro. Jake, on to you. John, you notice another mistake in the first sentence of the outro? <laughs> he didn't fix it again. I, again. Shit, I don't know what you're talking about, man. It looks he, like a three to me. Anyway, completely live document. It looks like a three. Anyways, uh, that was episode 23 of the Anime Happy Hour podcast. Uh, you know, for new listeners, we're, we're glad to have you. Feel free to stick around for people who have been with us since the beginning. Thanks. You know, we're, we're steadily growing and uh, getting our foothold in this, uh, in the podcast world. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really appreciative of the support. Um, you can contact you can contact us anytime at face on Facebook uh, at Anime Happy Hour Podcast. You can email us at Anime Happy Hour nine five one at gmail dot com. You know, if you want to send us some draft ideas or maybe uh, TV show and now movie recommendations, definitely let us know. Send it to us through Facebook, our email, the comments on YouTube, any any way you can get in contact with us. Um, we're currently streaming on Anchor, Spotify, and Google Podcast. Um, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure to check in and vote in our draft uh, on the episode page. Uh, for this week, it will be episode 22. Um, yeah, we're, we're working on increasing our content on YouTube. Uh, we just switched over to Zoom, which should help with recording our videos. Um, and we're also going to be putting up some trailers within the next week for Spy Family and uh, Tekken and uh, reacting to Maniac by Stray Kids, which uh, they're doing for my sake. So definitely yeah. check that out. Um, anyways, it was uh, good to have you guys here and uh, we'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye.